What's going on, it's Splash, and today we're going to be talking about the worst anime verses to live in. Coming at number one, you already know we got Attack on Titan. I don't think I really have to explain why Attack on Titan is the worst verse to live in, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to do it anyway. This man Aaron's mom got her head chopped off, I mean, eaten off the first episode. Imagine you just walking to the store, getting some food, and some big headed naked dude comes out the cut trying to eat you, bro. Like, that's not it. Imagine you just woke up. From a nice soothing nap, you look out the window, and then a titan looking at you like these, bro. Like, oh! and then you might be like, oh, I can just be like Levi and clap all the titans and like be mad cool. But like, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like, you not Levi. I almost forgot to mention, we also got Phase Gabby like in the same world as you, and like I don't think you want Phase Gabby in the same world as you. So like, keep that in mind. And then yeah, the next verse we got is the My Hero verse. There's mad villains in that verse. And if you don't have, like, a good power to fight them off with, that's tough! You might be like, alright, I'm tired of these villains, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go be a, be a hero and, like, try to stop them. But, like, if your quirk's ass, you ass. This dude right here, his quirk is to talk to animals. <laughs> this dude is never gonna be cold, never. He's gonna suck forever. He's gonna be some, like, dookie hero and, like, after, like, Deku becomes a hero, we're never gonna see him again ever. Next up... We got the greatest piece of fiction of all time, One Piece. Because of this legend right here, the pirates are ballooning in the verse, which means that if you're like some dude on like an island, which like you'll be like, where are you gonna live under the sea or some shit? You're gonna be on an island, and there's like a great chance that a pirate's gonna come and pull up to your village and start like clapping niggas. You could be a pirate, but like you don't got plot armor because you ain't Luffy, so I don't know, man. You could look end up like Don Krieg and like try to go to the Grand Line. And then a top five character in the verse comes up, comes up and like fights you just cause. But me, you know what I'm saying? I'm built different. I'll clap that. Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> Next up, we got the One Punch Man verse. And the reason why you wouldn't want to live in that verse is basically the same reason why you wouldn't want to live in the My Hero verse. Basically, if you ain't tough, that's tough. You literally have some big giant dude stepping over like like towns, bro. Like, in the city, like, he would step over, like, like a bunch of structures. Like, like it was nothing, bro. Like, that, that versus the sheets. And you had a universal threat come down. Like, if Saitama wasn't there. <laughs> imagine you just chilling after a long day of work. You step outside. About to drink some orange juice. And then a mosquito woman sucks you up. Wait a minute. That wouldn't be too bad. What did you say, nigga? Nah, because, like, hear me out. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying sorry. You know what I'm saying? I feel good. You know what I'm saying? Ha, ha, ha. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And the last verse, the Naruto verse, because unless you're friends with Naruto, you ass getting slept. And like I said in past videos, the Leaf Village is ass. Hey, no, 